guys, so today I am doing the very heavily requested what to pack for a beach vacation or what I pack. I'm going to show you inside my bag that has like all my toiletries and makeup and stuff and also my beach bag. For this video, um, it's going to be much different than how to pack for if you are traveling by plane somewhere, which is going to come up in the next week because I'm also, um, at the end of June, flying to LA for IMATS as I do every year. So I thought this would be kind of like a good, like, almost like two-part video that goes hand in hand. This is going to be what to pack for a beach vacation, like if you're on a road trip or whatever. It's a fairly short drive uh, to the beaches in Florida. We're going to Destin. Um, so it's going to be different, so look out for the other video coming soon. It'll be a little bit different um, because packing for a plane trip is very different. I really love this video because it forced me to go ahead and pack my things. We're leaving in a couple days. And what's great about this, and what I would recommend, I'm going to take you through and show you everything, but um, what I tend to forget the most are certain like makeup things or certain like toiletries, like I might forget conditioner, or I might forget something silly, like, I don't know. Um, so what I like to do, I just remembered something that I forgot to, um, what I like to do is I pack everything a couple days before and then I just truly use the items in this for the next few days um, from makeup from getting ready like after I take a shower so then if I realize that I need something I can throw it in I can really judge if I've gotten everything so this thing is so cool it's called the large weekender and it's from Henry Bindle I love it so much everything is in here from my shampoo to my makeup to everything brushes everything's in here it's fitting comfortably it's very organized so hair stuff it's just really cool. I had a 25% off coupon at Henry Bindle, which was really nice. Um, so I used that on this, and I'm really glad I did. So I'm just going to kind of take everything out and show you. So it opens up like this, and then it flips up like that, and you can hang it or do whatever. I put my makeup down here. Um, toiletries and stuff right here. Hair stuff and um, little Q-tips and stuff in here. This is what I'm going to start with. Um... I have this little thing from Target that had Q-tips in it, and I always refill it with Q-tips and my little cotton rounds for my toner. Um, I have other little various, I have other various hair items when you go to the beach. That's very important. Bring plenty of hair ties. These are my favorite. They're by Goody, I believe, and they have like a little bit of rubber so it doesn't slip. Um, a hairband, this little thing to make a bun. These are amazing with the grips. I love these uh, little versions of that. So. All those are in there. I've also got my tweezers. And that's, oh, a small pair of scissors. These are eyebrow scissors, but they always come in handy on vacation for something. Eyebrows or clothes or just something if you ever need to cut anything. So all that fits nicely up top. Um, then this section, these are pretty big sections too. Um, this is all my toilet toiletries, stuff that I use in the shower, stuff that I use after the shower, things like that. Now what's funny is um, when you are taking a road trip, Obviously, you don't, you're not going on a plane. You can carry whatever sizes you want. Usually, um, a lot of times, I'll just throw my shampoo and conditioner in my suitcase, like in one of the external things. But I kind of just like using it like this. Why bring a giant thing of shampoo? Um, so I always bring this little thing of Band-Aids, because you never know. I have... I wish I could hold it up and show you. I'll hold it and show you. Um, I have these little travel things of Proactive that I don't repurchase every time. I just actually refill them with the Proactive that I use. I'm going to have to repack everything. Um, this Tiffany D. Soap from Candles by Victoria or Candles by Victoria Bath & Body. It smells really good. And I did a video on that on Tiffany D. TV, which I'll link to below. My husband loves this so much, so we're going to bring one on the trip. Um, I always bring a little bitty thing of lotion because it's such a waste. Like, if you're going to be away for, like, five or six days, you don't need a giant, like, mega thing of lotion taking up all your room. So, um, this is that little, that Hemp's brand. I really like that. And again, I just refill this with, that is the Hemp's moisturizer that I refilled it with, but you can refill it with anything. I have a mini Tresemme, which you can get these at any drugstore. They always have that. My La Vanilla deodorant, which I think there is a travel size now, so I've got to try to find that. This ponytail thing, this is a sample that I got forever ago. They don't have this anymore. I'm really upset. I think that the whole line like went under the haircut ponytail. I cannot find it anywhere. This is amazing stuff. Like if you're just going to put like a straight ponytail, which I do a lot at the beach, um, 
it's it's really nice. It smooths away flyaways and everything. Um, my makeup removers. Um, in here, I have my Alterna Hemp uh, Styling Lotion for my hair. It's the thickening compound. I just put it in here because the tube is really big. I can just dip out what I need in here with my hands. This stuff is good because it has, um, it's like a styling lotion. It's really conditioning, but it's also volumizing. Uh, it has a UV protector, so it is literally like a million products in one. Heat protector, too. And then I have these little travel bottles of shampoo. It's Aveda Color Conserve, but that's not what's inside it. Um, when I finished that a long time ago, I just rinsed them out because I thought these were good travel bottles. Why buy like a million stupid cheapo travel bottles when you can just rinse out like products like this? And then I use I put my John Frieda Purple Shampoo in there, which I think is really good for the beach anyway, especially if you're going to be like swimming a lot or in chlorine. Um, this is good for good for keeping your blonde hair looking the right color it's supposed to be. I always carry a little bitty tube of toothpaste. This. I probably do need to pick up another one because it's kind of low. And I always bring this. It's the Band-Aid uh, Friction Block Stick if you ever get blisters or anything. I'm not really bringing any fancy shoes, so I'm really not worried about that. But you never know. Alright, so then I have all my makeup. At the beach, I do not bring much makeup. I know this kind of looks like a lot, but it's really not. And I probably will not end up wearing a lot of this. Um, I bring, first of all, and this fits in here perfect, my... Um, my travel kit from Sigma. This is the Make Me Cool travel kit. It's really cute. And what I love about these is that, like, you can put full-size brushes in here, too. Like, this is a full-size brush. Full-size brushes will fit in there, too. So, I love this for traveling. And I've mixed up um, full-sized. See? I, I've got to clean them. I just put them in here for the video. But I do need to clean these, too. Three. So, I have a mix of some of the brushes that are actually in that. And then, um, you know, just brushes that I really just went through and thought that I would need. Keep your brush from, like, smushing it before you close it. Put it in, like, brush side down. That way when you put it in, none of your bristles will, like, go backwards. And then that way when you put the lid on it, it's just easy to fit in over the things. And then when you flip it over, the, um, the bristles will be all. None of them will be, like, facing down, you know, like, from putting it on and smushing it. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to mention too, this is nice because when you're actually on your trip or on vacation or whatever, wherever you're going to put your makeup on, you can actually use these cups to put your brushes in so that they're not rattling around your makeup bag or sitting on a dirty counter. And then I put my moisturizers in here, the Origins Vita Zings, what I use every morning after my all three steps of my Proactive. And then I just bring this, this is the green tea moisturizer from Proactive, which I really love. I use this at night. Um, it's good stuff. And this is the tiniest little... Thing. It always comes free when you get new kits, so I have like a million of those, so they're great for traveling. Um, and then I did add this one extra brush. This one was too fluffy to put in my other thing, but I love this blush, this brush for bronzer. Um, it's an F20. I can't live without that for bronzer, and I thought, well, I'm going to the beach. I'm not going to be wearing a lot of makeup. I'll probably just wear like this and a little bit of concealer and bronzer most days. So I thought I need to bring a good bronzer brush. Um, and then the other moisturizer is my, um, the Starting Over by Origins for my eye cream, which I love. Alright, so I guess I'll go through and show you the little items that I brought. I'm not bringing any liquid foundation. I'm just using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I do have a video coming soon on how I do a full, um, foundation, like, face look with that. After the trip, I'll post that. Uh-oh, the lid came off. The only thing about these, um... The Revlon Brow Fantasy is that after using it for a while, this little lid comes off, so i got to be careful with that. I might put some tape around it so it doesn't smush, you know, if it does come off so the pencil doesn't get all of everything. My Brow Fantasy, obviously. Um, clear Great Lash. For the beach, I don't bring any waterproof mascara. It's just a hassle. I don't want to wear that at the beach. I don't want to have to worry about that. I just don't really like wearing waterproof mascara. I brought my Maybelline Full and Soft just for when I do my makeup and we're not at the beach or something. Um, my bronzer, which is the Nude On Board Pro Longwear by MAC. Um, the only blush I brought was my Tarte Exposed because it's just really universal and great. I did bring this uh, Benefit What's Up highlighter. It's, um, it's really cool. It's like a stick. It's really pretty, um, like on your cheekbones, and you're not wearing much makeup, it's nice. I did say that was the only blush, the Tarte, but I will probably wear this most of the time. It's the NARS uh, Orgasm, the multiple, and you can just put it on your cheeks, blend it out with your fingertips, and it looks really natural. 
Um, I didn't really want to... Oh, my concealer. My studio finish. The best concealer of all time. Um, my under eye concealer. The Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, my little sun tint lip balm in Sea Mist. That's going to be in my beach bag, I'm sure, most of the time. And then for my eyeliner, I just brought this Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pin, the brown one. I didn't want to bring a million eyeliners, but oh, I did bring this one. The Hyacinth. I thought that might be pretty for going out at night or something. The dark blue. And then for eyeshadows, I brought this, the Jaunty, because it's just, by MAC, it's just very, very simple. You can do a whole eye look with it. But then, because, of course, I could not just pack one eyeshadow, I brought this, my NARS Cordura, just in case. Then I also put my NARS all about even there, too, because I have a problem. And for some reason, I feel like that wasn't enough eyeshadow. So I'll probably not bring the all about Eve. I don't think I need that. This Sheen Supreme Bare Again, just a very, you know, natural lip color. I brought this to catch a sailor really pretty. I didn't bring this to catch a sailor. I brought to catch a sailor. That's just... Um, this Tarte Lifted Natural Eye Primer. I really love this. I want to get a full size of it, but it's perfect for travel. And then I brought my Fascinating Eye Coal, which I don't really think I need this. I don't need that. Okay, so that's all. That's what I brought. Just very simple. This is my beach bag. I'm not going to show like too much because the video is getting pretty long. I got it at Target. It has good like little, you know, compartments inside and stuff, so you don't really have to worry about packing. Ah! Our pull keys in here. Ah! For our neighborhood. I've been looking for that. Perfect. Um, okay. So, in here I have this little bag that has hair stuff in it. This was just a little Makeup Forever bag that I got with some something for free. These are really nice. It's a beach mat. Um, it's huge. It has weights on the edge of it so it doesn't blow around in the sand. You put it on the sand and then you put, um, it can fit two beach towels over it so your beach towels don't get disgusting so you can get out of the water and dry off with your beach towels and not get sand all over you. And then when you get ready to go in, it sh the, sh the sand just comes right off of it. It shakes off. So it's a nice thing. My mom got me that a while back. I'm not sure where she got it. A pair of flip-flops. These are just some Victoria's Secret pink ones. These are just always in my beach bag, the ones that I always bring to the beach every year. Um, I need to get, well, we went shopping the other night and I picked up some sunscreen. I had this one from earlier in the year. It's the Aveeno Continuous Protection Sunblock Spray. This is SPF 30. I wear this, like, I, I use this on my face when I'm at the beach. I use it on my body. I like it because it's sweat proof. It says it's oil free and waterproof and it really does a great job. It doesn't break me out or anything. But finding the Aveeno SPF 30 is really hard. Like, they're all like SPF 80 and crazy. You know, not that that's bad, but I just like the SPF 30. I reapply it often. Yeah. But this is what I found that was most similar. It's the um, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. It says that it's waterproof and non-greasy. I don't know if it has oil in it. It doesn't have oil in it. So it's basically the same thing. I think this is probably the closest, so I'll probably use this the same way, and that's that's a brand new one. I have a little bit of this left, and if I find this, I probably will buy that, but I think the Neutrogena will be fine. And then I bought this for Brad. It's the Sport Cool Zone Instantly Cools and Refreshes, and it's supposed to be, um, yeah, Invisible Rub Free Water Resistance Swim Splash Sport. So I thought Brad would like that. And that's it. So I hope that that helped you guys. Um, I am going to do another video when I pack for the LA trip and kind of show you how I tweak this. Obviously I'm not bringing my beach bag on that trip, but um, show you how I kind of change everything up a little bit to be appropriate for a plane trip. So I hope that helped you guys out and that you enjoyed it. Again, the beach bag was from Target. This is from Henry Bindle. I'm sure that's probably going to be the most asked questions. Um, but all the info is below. I will do a blog post accompanying this too. Um, we will be out of town, as I said, but, you know, I've got videos ready, so it's really not going to affect, like, posting or anything. I will be putting up a vlog on Tiffany D TV when I get back, like a travel vlog. I think I'm going to, I might film a, a bit while I'm down there. I don't know. I usually try to do travel vlogs when we go out of town. Um, but there is a new video on Tiffany D TV also, as I mentioned, about the soaps and the candles, like, new, some new body products and, um, some new candles that I got. So, uh, check that out. The link to that is below, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.